and welcome to the webinar on how to manage your software. So at first, I'd walk you through the agenda here. Really, the main points we're trying to cover are the benefits of a Captera listing and what it can do, for you, and the benefits of obviously completing listing and how it can differentiate you from your competitors to really get the right individuals over to your site and hopefully becoming leads for you. And this is essentially a live demo we're going to go through. I'm going to show you each stage of completing your profile, walk you through the process, kind of start to finish, answer any questions, of course, at the end. And then hopefully by the end of it, of course, you're welcome to follow along, you'll be able to go through and really complete your listing. Now, if you give me a quick second here, we're going to switch this over. Great. So right now what you're looking at here is the dashboard. Now, the dashboard is what you're going to come to when you first log into your listing. It's the first thing you're going to see. Um, the main points to really cover here shows your listings, so products that you have on file with us, and the directories that they're associated with, and the number of views that that directory has seen in the past month. So that would be the past calendar month, not the past 30 days. Now, further down here, we have the top reviewed products. Now, reviews are important, and the reason they're listed the way that they are is that they obviously do two things. One, they set the order for the free listings we have on Captera, as well as add validity to your account so that when someone looks at your account, they're able to look at other past customer experience and then obviously build trust within you when they get towards your actual website or going to full products. Now, as you scroll back up here, you're going to notice the account status bar. Now, this is key for obviously multiple reasons. Um, we chose a vendor that hadn't used, uh, hasn't really logged into their listing yet. Um, it predominantly starts up at 15%. Uh, if you add a logo, it goes up to the 30 mark. Uh, and below, it'll show all of the things that the individual needs to complete in order to have their listing completed, uh, as well as having their features filled out as well. So to take you through here, there are the product details, the target market, the company profile, a uh, listing below that that has directory features that they can check off as well, which I'll show you, and the product reviews. And once that's all completed, it'll get you up to 100% completion, which uh, in turn gives you obviously a full benefit of the Captera profile. Now, if you click on the listings tab here, it's going to bring you over to your listing, obviously your listings area here, and you'll be able to edit your listing. So I click on the edit listing button. It's going to bring me over to the first with our descriptions and URLs. Now right here, we'll have our destination URL. Now, this URL is really important, especially for vendors that are taking part in our pay-per-click program. This is what that orange visit website button will direct to. So if you plan to use a landing page, obviously more welcome to, but this is what you're going to send uh, by when they come and they look at your, if you're taking part in the pay-per-click program. Now below that, we'll have the long description. Now the long description is also something that only displays uh, if you have a pay-per-click listing as well. That's important for things like learning yourselves from your competitors, putting any stipulations as to who you can or can't work with, and really just making sure you're weeding out the people that aren't going to be a good fit from the start. So it's retail your features and benefits, and really just put yourself together in such a way where you can narrow the funnel of individuals that are coming to you as much as you can. Now below that we have the short description. Now that does display on your current listing if you have a basic listing. Uh, again, same benefits of a longer description, just with few uh, less characters. The description holds 500 characters, while the short description only holds 135. Now, below that, we have the spotlight links. And this, again, is a PPC exclusive feature. Uh, what this offers here is obviously you can see that there's a free trial, free demo, and pricing link. You can also add up to two other links as well that can lead to different spots on your website. Now, those are going to appear. Uh, below, once someone views your profile, the logo and the name, and they can obviously click on those as well to go to different parts of your website if you'd like to include those as well. Now, once you plan that out, you'll hit save, and you move to the next tab. It will bring you over to the product details section. Now, this section here, you have your product details, your delivery options, cloud, SaaS, web-based. Anything here that applies to you is what you want to fill out. You obviously involve pricing. Uh, as well, where you can put in whether you have a free version or not, your starting price, uh, how that pricing is done, whether it's one time per month per year, uh, per user, etc. Really covering everything that 
can detail your product out so someone knows what they're getting in prior to going over to your actual website, whether you offer a trial button, uh, as well as showing the support options you have. Um, you also have a training section below there, which will show what type of training is offered for it, what's needed to really get the software up and running, and you can fill that out just to make sure that everyone's all in the know as much as they can be. Uh, and we also have the integrations and product differentiators, which are key as well. Um, obviously, not all of the information here is required, only the things with that red star are, uh, but it is pivotal that you do complete the listing um, and put in as much detail as you can because all that's going to do is help you. Now, if we move to the next tab here, it'll bring us to our target market section. Obviously, here we have customer size, number of users, you serve is in your target market for uh, the macro scale and then on the idea of customers and who you would target more on the responsibility end and who you'd be really working with predominantly. And then next, so, oops, uh, next we're going to go over to the directory features. Now this individual is listed in our applicant tracking. Now here they're able to check off all of the things that they offer. Uh, so that when an individual, when a buyer comes to the site and they make it to the applicant tracking directory, they can refine their search by these features and help you move up the list faster. So in doing so, uh, once you complete this here, you now many of you will have multiple products and multiple directories that you're listed in. You'll have different sets of features for each of these directories, uh, and you'll complete them in the order that they appear. So save this here. That's going to complete the majority of the listing. Now, what's next would be your media library. Now, if we click here, you'll see that you can add things like YouTube or Vimeo video. If we highlight that there, it's going to show you just URL in there, and then you can upload it. It will appear on your listing so that someone can quickly get a quick blurb of what you do, uh, as well as putting up screenshots. You can add up to five screenshots uh, as well. You just click on here. You upload the photo. And if you see that green check mark there. If you check that, it'll appear. If you uncheck it, it'll obviously disappear. So we cover the media library portion there. Now if we go over to the settings tab, or actually we can do this back at the dashboard. Click on the dashboard here. I'm going to bring you to the company profile. Click on that there. It's really just going to show you the point of contact information. Now this is obviously useful for people reaching out and contacting you, uh, putting up an email address, really showing you know, the year your company was founded, headquarters, really any company info that you can supply, uh, and obviously your social media tabs being Facebook, Google+, LinkedIn, Twitter, and YouTube. Let me save that there. Now, one of the more pivotal things to go through is the reviews section, which we mentioned briefly earlier. Now, reviews are very important. Um, I can't stress it enough. When you have in your free listing here, it's going to help you order everything. It's what helps order the free listings uh, by number of reviews. Also, the validity to your account, and we also have an article uh, up top here that will explain the value of reviews and the effects that reviews have on conversion rates, which is listed here. And of course, you can add a review badge to your website. Now, that's helpful, of course, so if someone comes to your site, they can click and go straight through to Capsterra and leave a quick review for you, making it easier for you to get to them. We also have a review form, uh, which you can click on here. It's a pretty short form. As you scroll through, you're going to see really they need the title of the review, some comments, the first name, last name, organization name, uh, job title uh, would be beneficial, and their email address. Now the reason we have that email address is so that we can send them a confirmation email afterwards to make sure that the review is valid. Uh, reviews have to be submitted by the actual client itself, the customer themselves. They cannot be submitted by you and the reason we do that is we want to make sure there aren't any fraudulent reviews on the site and that buyers can trust the information they're seeing. Uh, now once a review comes in, there's a 72 hour pending period uh, in which we just go over it and obviously send out that confirmation email. Uh, as well as make sure that it's not slanderous uh, in the sense of having your competitor write something that's not true about you or just an inaccurate review coming through so it won't actually appear on your listing. Once that's confirmed, the review posts on your listing and you're good to go. And overall, now have a complete profile. Uh, this overall is all you need to do to get everything ready and 
and up and running. Uh, to look at the listing here, this is what a uh, completed list, well, if the listing was completed, this is what it will bring to. If we go to the actual applicant track it, tracking directory itself, show a complete listing up here. So if we show, let's see, iSIMS is an example. We view their profile, and this is what they'll have here. So this, especially if you're taking part in the pay-per-click program, you get this visit website and a free demo button as well as the spotlight links I mentioned before. Uh, list who uses the software. Here's the description they previously had there. The ratings, which are uh, part of the reviews. The product details, which you check off there. Their video. And also screenshots that when clicked on, place the video in their media section. As well as the vendor details here. They can have filled out in their features checklist. And then the reviews in the bottom populate. Overall, now that everyone has a complete profile, we can go back here and just show a handful of resources that you have on file. If we go to the resource tab, it's going to bring you over to other Capterra webinars that we've done in the past, which we'll have here all listed. Uh, this is on our YouTube channel as well. And if we go back up top here, you'll also see some marketing tools that you have at our disposal. Uh, you can do a website review checklist to see that you have a website that's really optimized for PPC or can build a landing page so that you can really maximize those conversions. Uh, obviously, the website challenge, uh, as well as the guidelines for your listing. And right here, we have the website review checklist as well, really making sure that it covers everything to put you in the right mindset for this type of marketing. Now, overall, uh, as we've gone through this here, we briefly covered per click. Uh, in order to get the most traffic to your site, that is the optimal way to do so. Now, it's not for everyone, of course, but if you are interested in doing so, if you click on your settings tab, you're going to see the contact information of your sales rep right in the corner there. Now, that's going to be myself, uh, Shelby Day, Brian, now they're going to be helpful for things, answering any questions you have, helping you fill out your listing if you're hung up on anything at all, going through your website to make sure looks the way it's supposed to look and really helping you get the most you can out of your listing with us as well as any traffic that comes to your site, whether it be through pay-per-click with us, AdWords, any campaign you do, or organic traffic coming to your site. We're here to make sure that you're able to get as many leads as you possibly can. And in conclusion, we'll take a few questions now and uh, go from there. So the first question I have here is, how can I have get my profile listed at the top of a directory? Now, the top of a directory, the ones with that website button, are based on bid price. That's uh, the pay-per-click program, uh, which it, it varies directory for directory because it's an auction-style bid function. Um, now, if you bid the highest amount, then you'll appear on the highest part of the page, and that's controlled by vendors that are working with us based on how competitive they believe the traffic to be. Uh, if you'd like to see those estimates as well, again, uh, your sales rep can give you those to you quickly, send you over some estimates, uh, and just walk through where your optimal bid price can be uh, to make sure you're getting the most clicks for the least amount of spend. So obviously reach out to them. Uh, as well as for the top of the listings within the blue view profile buttons, which are the ones, the free listings where you guys mostly are listed now, that's by number of reviews. The more reviews you have, higher up you'll appear there. And if you have, um, don't have reviews, then it goes into an alphabetical order. So what is displayed publicly on the site? So as we covered briefly earlier, if we go over to an actual listing here um, for what we have. Uh, if I go over to the listing itself here, if you give me a quick second, we'll get to the applicant tracking directory. I'll show you an example being ISIM. So this is all the public information that's being filled out and sent here. So you'll see that they have all of this here, your product details, uh, vendor details, features checklist, the product reviews. Really, that's all that's displayed publicly. A lot of it's for your information only, obviously. Uh, pricing things we hide for the most part uh, for the descriptions that we have here. Now, for the next question, best advice for getting customers to leave a review? That's a great question. So what I typically do or tell people to do uh, is if we go back again here, get back to the actual directory, I'll show you the review form. 
A lot of people do uh, certain incentives, so they'll give discounts uh, in some way if that's something you're willing to do, or they'll have like a contest uh, to win something. That also helps to get many reviews in. But a lot of people just find their top customers that are really happy with the product, and they send in this review form. They just copy and paste the URL and send it out in an email, uh, and then it submits right through. So any way you can get that out there, obviously adding the reviews badge to your page as well, a multi-prong approach is going to be the most just because you're going to get different types of people who you know, wouldn't have filled it out a different way. Uh, but really getting up to about 10 reviews, that's where you're going to see a cap out on the conversion front. So multiple to see them all on one dashboard. dashboard. <laughs> um, you can add multiple products and it will display on a single dashboard. So if we go back here, uh, if we go to the listing tab, you'll see Coley's product right here. They're having a singular product because they haven't uh, done much with their listing here. What will happen is this same view will appear directly below it in a separate, with separate directories that they're associated with, separate categories. And so that you'll be able to show multiple products. Now something to know, you can be listed in as many different products or many different categories as you'd like, but they can't overlap. So you can't have four products in an applicant tracking directory so to speak. Now, if you have a product in applicant tracking or talent management or veterinary, all welcome. We can add those all for you there uh, as a free or a paid listing. Entirely up to you. Uh, the products you have there, they just cannot overlap. And so overall, um, I'm glad that you all attended the webinar. I'm happy that we had much more success than we did last week as we went through. And obviously, if you have any questions, Feel free to reach out. We're here to help. We really want to make sure that everything's covered appropriately so that we can get your listing looking exactly what